All right, now this. If you had some information that could possibly help people when it came to their health, would you share it? When faced with that, myself, me and my family chose the answer yes. I have prostate cancer, and as common as that is, since one in eight men get diagnosed with it, it's obviously pretty scary. And if not for one specific blood test that my PCP happened to throw on to my annual checkup, I wouldn't have known until who knows when, and I might not have had all the treatment options available to me that I do. So in an effort to raise awareness about prostate-specific antigen testing, or PSA, I interviewed my own urologist, Dr. Stephen Ryan. If you Google symptoms of prostate cancer, I have zero. I have none of them. The PSA test was the only flag to kind of point in the direction of at least, at least, at least look and see. I'm assuming you've heard that story a lot of times. Yeah. Yeah, symptoms for prostate cancer are usually difficulty urinating, blood in your urine, or unexplained weight loss, or pain in your bones. Um, that usually means metastatic or progressed prostate cancer. With PSA testing, will typically, the vast majority will be found before it's symptomatic and can be treated. So that's the more common situation to encounter. The state of Maine is ranked 46th in the country for diagnosed cases of prostate cancer. On the surface, that seems great, but Maine's death rate for prostate cancer ranks the state 29th. That difference is extremely telling in that the population is not detecting the disease early enough and people are dying in higher numbers than they should. By contrast, New Jersey has the highest incidence of prostate cancer in the country, but is ranked 44th in mortality. It's being diagnosed earlier and less people are dying. Being able to diagnose a prostate cancer in its early form is the goal, so that way we could have a discussion about whether treatment is necessary or what treatment somebody would like to have. Now, not every primary care physician automatically runs a PSA test when you get to a certain age. It can be up to the patient to advocate and ask for it. It's also important to note that a PSA test is just part of a potential prostate cancer puzzle. It is not the answer to the test. So having an elevated PSA does not mean you have cancer. It does not mean that you need a biopsy, and it does not mean that you need treatment. It is just one step in a multi-step process, and having that conversation with your doctor is really what helps prevent prostate cancer from becoming you know, a threat to your health. So again, the PSA level is not indicative of cancer. It's just one of the markers that you should use. There are other risk factors, including ancestry, family history of prostate, breast, or even colon cancer. At the very least, it's worth having a conversation with your doctor just to see if having a PSA test run is the right thing for you.